hello guys welcome back to another video and in this video we are reviewing the latest firearm from bootleggers community so let's get started so talking about the rom it's been not a week but maybe like 4 to 5 days i'm using this rom the rom is very first built from the bootleggers community yes the rom is not official that is the rom is unofficial as in bootleggers language it's kind of unshishified unshishified means unofficial and shishified means official build i don't know why they are keeping such uh, chinese names but they actually mean this so as per my usage the rom is pretty good as the rom is unofficial but it doesn't feels like it's unofficial it's pretty stable and nice overall performance of the rom is very satisfactory being unofficial it's it's so stable and smooth so let's move on towards the performance the performance of the rom is nice no lags were face also not random reboots uh, just two i guess two random reboots i faced when first time i booted this rom i don't know the reason for for some time i thought that i may got stuck in between but fortunately the rom booted maybe the rom is unofficial that's why but yeah after that the experience was nice and the rom is pretty good so the performance is smooth no lags or nothing such were found as you can see the performance is pretty smooth every app works fine so moving towards settings uh, here we see the generic file settings which are available in almost by roms talking about the battery backup then you can get about a uh, maximum of 2 hours of screen on time as i charged this phone just now 41 minutes ago so it just showing me 19 minutes of screen usage since full charge but as per my usage it gives you 2 hours of screen on time heading towards about section we will get this new header of bootleggers community uh, as you can see the build is of 7th of march 2019 yes it's over 4.0 version from bootleggers itself uh, security patch is also latest which is of 5th of march 2019 So yes, that's all about this about settings. Also, bootleggers provide its own customizations. As you can still see this bootleg dumpster. You can customize many things like status bar, quick settings, or oh, hardware button, nav features, lock screen, power menu, gestures, animations, recent apps. Right now, I don't like much customization. Customization, so I just change some tiles like I enabled that I set gaming mode tile in my quick settings from some search night light I don't use also it's recommended that you too don't use because uh, yeah as usual some lags can be faced so it's better not to use uh, I didn't make much customizations I just made in font it's nice that you can set the font whichever you want which is in build so oh, my favorite is this google sans as it gives me some kind of pixel look so it feels good and gives me complete pixel experience talking about gpu then as as i said 
looking towards Antutu score, GPO might be good. I don't play PUBG and all games, so I can't tell you in detail about GPO. But yeah, as for my prediction, it's unofficial, so maybe some minor lags can be seen in PUBG or some kind of frame drops. But um, I can't expect much lag or drop in this round. So yeah, it could be played. Uh, can be played better on this round, so it's not a big deal on that. So let's uh, look towards the Antutu score. Antutu score 61846. So yeah, once again, the score is high because of CPU performance. GPU was like okay, okay, kind of. Google left swipe for Google News works fine. Not a big issue. Fingerprint unlock. Fingerprint unlock also works fine. And enabled face unlock as you can see this. So the overall performance is pretty good. Uh, camera as I made one dedicated video and my favorite is one plus five camera so it works fine. Other camera which I listed in that video you can use that also. It's not necessary that you have to use only one plus five camera. So whichever camera which works well on Moto G4 Plus having five or audio ROM. I made a dedicated video on that, you can just find that on my channel. So it's recommended to most to watch that so that you can get better camera experience. Not best but kind of better. So many people also complained me that the payment applications are, were not working in most of the pie rounds. So it's not an issue with this as just I guess half an hour ago I installed Paytm. I didn't log in also just to show you that payment apps also works fine. So not to worry about that. See as you can see you can grant all permissions and you are ready to go. So yeah, payment apps also works fine. Google Pay, uh, PayPal, not PayPal. Google Pay, Phone Pay also works fine as this payment app is working fine so also it might not be issue in other payment applications. And another most important thing that I like I mentioned in many videos that when you use this pixel, pixel launcher uh, that popping animation where uh, it was experience here like it used to pop up and down because of which this tiles was having some lag so it i don't know how but it got disabled after i installed this rom with same gaps which i used to install in other roms too which comes with inbuilt pixel 3 launcher so it's nice to see that uh, no more the launcher pops and because of that lag is not face anymore so you can safely use pixel 3 launcher without any lags all the google apps are fine in this one no issue for example i will show you youtube Just like YouTube, all other Google apps which comes with G apps works fine. None of the apps lags or uh, creates any issues. You can use it hassle free without any issues and all. Yeah, VoLT works fine in this ROM. Let me show you once. Here we go. You can see. 
you can see bolt works fine in this room so no matter which your carrier you have jio vodafone airtel anything bolt works fine so there's no issue with that so that's all for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and see you again in the next video with another round yes that's it for this video see you again in the next one